I'm here because I am a roaring lion crying out righteousness. Did y'all see that speech by Vladimir Zelensky last night at the House of Representatives at Congress? Uh, it, it, this is, I, there are a couple of things going on. One is, is that the, you know, everybody was cheering him on. They're now saying that Zelensky's speech can be compared to Churchill's speak, speech in 1941, and Ronald Reagan is the great communicator. They're calling this guy holding that flag with the, the, those army fatigues on. They, they, they're, it, it's all hype. It's not true. Uh, but I, I was surprised that it was, uh, if you will, bipartisan uh, applause last night. The House was filled to the brim with all the senators and all of the uh, congressmen, and they were all Republican and, and, and Democrats, but they were all applauding him last night, and I thought he gave a pretty powerful speech. I mean, he's a communicator. I don't know if he's a Winston Churchill. I don't know if he, you know, if he's a, Winston Churchill was a Pulitzer Prize winner and one who's sufficient at the English language um, and was great at giving speeches. But um, it, it, they, everybody said he was as good as Reagan, and, and I, you know, He's the man of the year. He's a per now the time says, you don't call it man or woman anymore, they call him person of the year. But the thing that, that, that got to me is that Nancy Pelosi pulled him up. He just reached out to shake her hand. She pulled that boy up and tongue kissed him. Why don't she tongue kissed him? But she kissed him. What did his wife think about that? What's Nancy's husband think about it? He's been hitting the head, so he probably don't, he's not watching. Nancy pulled that boy over and kissed him. I said, what is this? What's this? Some sort of worship of Zelensky comes over here and everybody's. And so I thought that was a bit, you know, much that she did that. Well, she's going to be out of that position. She won't see her back up there no more. That's probably the last time you'll see her in that well um, as Speaker of the House. Uh, she's gone and good riddance. I mean, I don't dislike Nancy Pelosi. I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not one of those persons. I don't have, I, you know, but I think that. Last night was just a bit much. But at any rate, he's got $44 billion in cold cash Joe Biden's going to give him. And I think Biden has given him that to cover up the fact what his son Hunter Biden did uh, when he was, a couple of years ago when he was running the Energy Commission over at, uh, in Ukraine. And I, I, my, my, listen, I, I think Zelensky called Biden and told him, listen, we need more defensive weapons, more offensive weapons to fight the Russians. Y'all aren't giving them to us. We need money over here. Y'all aren't giving it to us. Now, you know, the uh, Tribulation Trump wanted me to start an investigation against your son, Hunter Biden. And uh, I didn't do it. I kept my cool. But now that we have been attacked by, by Putin, I think this, this is what I think went down. These politicians. This is what I think. I think by I think that that boy Zelensky called Biden and said, "Either you give us the money, give us the weapons, give us the person, the military personnel, or I'm going to tell the world about your son Hunter Biden and the millions of dollars he milked us for before the wall got started when Trump was running for president. I'm going to tell the world about that. See what you think about that." Biden said, "Come on to Washington. Come, 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 come to come to Washington. We'll let you sleep." in uh, Abraham Lincoln's bedroom. <laughs> anyway. But, that, you know, that's, everybody says he's a great speak, speech maker. Uh, and, he, and, and English is not his, his native tongue, so I, I thought he did a fairly good job.